Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. So 48-year-old New Jersey resident Ezekiel Stetcher headed to the Capitol after Donald Trump's speech. Stetcher followed officers as the police line was pushed back and pushed further and further. And he was seen on surveillance video pulling his hood over his head. And then he entered the lower West Terrace tunnel. So the police forced Stetcher and others out of the tunnel at one point, but he came back about two minutes later. So this time, Stetcher was seen climbing on the ledge near the entrance to the tunnel. And apparently he was trying to get a better view of what was going on inside. So then he climbed down off the ledge and he was seen banging his hand on the archway of the the entrance um, on the wall there. And the prosecutor said that he did that over a dozen times. Then Stetcher entered the tunnel again and he advanced forward. He advanced toward the police and he was repeatedly screaming and gesturing at them. And then after exiting the tunnel again, Another member of the mob yelled that they need fresh people inside, so Stetcher entered the tunnel a third time. This time, Stetcher maneuvered his way almost to the front of the police line, and he was forcefully and repeatedly pushing against other members of the mob and pushing them into the police. And then he was seen taking part in that collective heave-ho push against the officers. So eventually the police deployed pepper spray into the crowd and Stetcher did retreat. He went and washed his eyes out. And as he was exiting the tunnel, Stetcher was heard saying, quote, if we can't push them, drag them. So Stetcher remained on the Capitol grounds for some time after that, but he didn't enter the tunnel again. So Stetcher was arrested on March 9th of 2021, and he was indicted on charges of civil disorder, entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct, and two counts of physical violence. In June of 2023, Stetcher pleaded guilty to civil disorder. So he was looking at up to five years in prison, three years of probation, and 250,000 in fines. The prosecutor, though, requested only three months in prison, three years of probation, and 2,000 in restitution. That was a very weak sentencing request, considering that this is a felony. Um, But the government said Stetcher has no criminal history. He also admitted to his crimes when they approached him, so they're giving him a huge, huge break. U.S. District Judge Randolph Moss presided over Stetcher's case, and unfortunately, I can't locate any details about what was said at the sentencing hearing, but Judge Moss sentenced Stetcher to only 60 days in prison, two years of probation, and 2,000 in restitution. This judge is hit and miss, but more, more misses than hits with him, so I expected a pathetic sentence, I'll be honest. I'm not shocked. I am disappointed, but I am not shocked. So, um, you know, yeah, (laughs) it it is what it is at this point. I mean, these people are just getting such a huge pass for something that is unprecedented and such violence perpetrated against these officers. It's sickening. So I will let you know if I hear any more about this guy. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like this video, share it with everyone you know, become a subscriber if you have not. Please become a donor if you possibly can. Links are below in the description box on YouTube and the podcast. So appreciate it. Love you all. Take care. I will talk with you soon.